Reginald Marie Garrigo Lagrange French Gagu L A G R February 21 1877 to February 15 1964 was a French Catholic theologian He has been noted as a leading neo-Thomist of the 20th century along with Jacobus Ramirez Edouard Hugon and Martin Grabman He taught at the Dominican Pontifical University of St Thomas Aquinas the Angelicum in Rome from 1909 to 1960 here he wrote his magnum opus, The Three Ages of the Interior Life in 1938. In 1918 Garrigo initiated courses in sacred art, mysticism, and aesthetics at the Angelicum influencing future liturgical artists such as Maria Lan Couturier, who studied theology there from 1930 to 1932. Life He was born Gontran Marie Garrigo Lagrange on February 21, 1877, in Auch, near Toulouse, France. While studying medicine at Bordeaux he experienced what he described as a religious conversion after reading Life, Science, and Art by the Breton writer Ernest Hellot He joined the French Dominicans and studied and taught at La Salle Choir before moving to Rome, where he lectured at the Angelicum from 1909 until his retirement in 1960. In 1917 a special professorship in ascetical and mystical theology was created for him at the Angelicum, the first of its kind anywhere in the world. Thought He is best known for his spiritual theology. His magnum opus in the field is The Three Ages of the Interior Life Les Trois Ages de la Vie Interior, in which he propounded the thesis that infused contemplation and the resulting mystical life are in the normal way of holiness of Christian perfection. This influenced the section entitled, Chapter 5, The Universal Call to Holiness in the Church. In the Second Vatican Council's dogmatic constitution on the Church, Lumen Gentium, his great achievement was to synthesize the highly abstract writings of St. Thomas Aquinas with the experiential writings of St. John of the Cross, attempting to show they are in perfect harmony with each other. Father Garrigo Lagrange, the leading proponent of strict observance Thomism, attracted wider attention when in 1946 he wrote against the Nouvelle Theologie theological movement, criticizing it as modernist. He is also said to be the drafter of Pope Pius XII's 1950 encyclical Humani Generis, subtitled, Concerning Some False Opinions Threatening to Undermine the Foundations of Catholic Doctrine. Influence <inaudible> 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 The Osservatore Romano, December 9–10, 1950, lists Garrigo Lagrange among the names of the Preparatory Commission for the Definition of the Assumption of Mary. Garrigo Lagrange taught many eminent Catholic theologians during his academic career at the Angelicum. He also supervised the doctoral research of Marie Dominique Chenu, who was ordained in 1919 and completed his doctorate in theology in 1920 with a dissertation entitled De Contemplation. In the period between World War II and the Cold War Garrigo Lagrange was the torchbearer of Orthodox Thomism against modernism. In 1926 he served as the definitive consultor to Pope Pius XI in declaring John of the Cross a doctor of the Church. He is commonly held to have influenced the decision in 1942 to place the privately circulated book Une École de Théologie, La Salle Choir, Atiole's 1937 by Marie-Dominique Chenu, O.P., on the Vatican's index of forbidden books", as the culmination of a polemic within the Dominican order between the Angelicum supporters of a speculative scholasticism and the French revival Thomists who were more attentive to historical hermeneutics, Garrigo Lagrange gave the retreat in Paris which attracted Yves Conger to leave the diocesan seminary in order to join the Dominicans. Later, Conger's methodology was suspected of modernism because it seemed to derive more from religious experience than from syllogistic analysis. Garrigo Lagrange also supervised the doctoral research of Maurice Zundel, who completed his dissertation in 1927 with a dissertation entitled L'influence du nominalisme sur la pensée chrétienne. Perhaps the most famous of his students was the future Pope John Paul II, who was supervised by Garrigo Lagrange for his doctoral research in the mid 1940s at the Angelicum, and whose encyclical Fides et ratio is attributed to his training under the learned Dominican. He died February 15, 1964, in Rome. 
The International Dominican Foundation (IDF) established Reginald de Rocoy's foundation in his memory at Pontifical University of Saint Thomas Aquinas, where he taught most of his career, which grants annual Reginald de Rocoy scholarships. Topic: <laughs> Works. He produced 28 books and hundreds of articles. Among the most famous works are Commentaries on the Summa Theologica of St. Thomas Aquinas One God, Commentary on Summa Theologica I.1-26. Soft cover. The Trinity and God the Creator, Commentary on Summa Theologica I.27-119. Soft cover. Beatitude 1951, Commentary on Summa Theologica I 2.1-54. Soft cover. Grace 1947, Commentary on Summa Theologica I 2.109-114, scanned version. Soft cover. The Theological Virtues, Volume 1, Faith 1948, English retranslation scheduled for 2018, Commentary on Summa Theologica I 2.1-16 soft cover. Christ the Savior 1945, Commentary on Summa Theologica 3.1-26, 31-59 softcover. De Eucharistia 1943, English trans, scheduled for 2018 Theological works Christian Perfection and Contemplation According to St. Thomas Aquinas and St. John of the Cross 1923, God, His Existence and Nature, A Thomistic Solution of Certain Agnostic Antinomies 1914 see also Pierre Duhem's appendix to it. Note sur la valeur des principes de l'inertia et de la conservation de l'énergie. Life Everlasting The Sense of Mystery, Clarity and Obscurity in the Intellectual Life Trans, 2017, French original, Le Sens du Mystère et le Claire Obser Intellectual 1934, Life Everlasting and Immensity of the Soul 1947 The Love of God and the Cross of Jesus 1929 Soft Cover Volume 1 Soft Cover Volume 2 Predestination 1936 The Priest in Union with Christ 1948 Providence 1932 The Three Ages of the Interior Life Prelude of Eternal Life 1938 Synthesis of Christian Perfection and Contemplation and Love of God and the Cross of Jesus online The Three Ways of the Spiritual Life 1938 Ascenza e Adwalita del Tomismo 1945 in Italian Principles of Catholic Apologetics translated and rearranged by Thomas Joseph Walsh from FR Reginald Garrigo Lagrange's De Revelation see below Marian Works The Mother of the Savior and Our Interior Life 1948 Philosophical Works Reality A Synthesis of Thomistic Thought Softcover Hardcover Free Audiobook La Sens Commune La Philosophie de Lettres et Les Formules Dogmatiques 4th ed 1936 English Trans Scheduled for 2018 Le Realisme du Principe de Finalité 1932, English trans, scheduled for 2018 works in Latin originals de Revelation per Ecclesiam Catholicum Proposita, Theologia Fundamentalis Secundum S. Tome Doctrinum Volume 1 and Volume 2 works in Spanish translated Dios, su existencia solution tomista de las antinomias agnosticas Volume and I and Volume and 2 El realismo del principio de finalidad El Salvador y su amor por nosotros El sentido común original in French, la sens común El sentido del misterio la madre del Salvador y nuestra vida interior la predestinación de los santos y la gracia la providencia y la confianza en Dios la santificación del sacerdote la sintesis tomista las tres edades de la vida interior la union del sacerdote con Cristo sacerdote y victima la vida eterna y la profundidad del alma other works by or about Reginald Garrigo Lagrange in libraries WorldCat catalog complete bibliography nearly all his works in Latin English French Italian and Spanish are downloadable here Topic see also Consecration and entrustment to Mary Topic References Topic Further reading Garrigo Lagrange, Reginald, 2013. The Essence and Topicality of Thomism. ISBN 9781304416381 Nichols, Aidan, 2008. Reason with Piety, Garrigo Lagrange in the Service of Catholic Thought. 
Naples, FL, Sapientia Press of Ave Maria University. ISBN 9781932589. Richard, 2004. The Sacred Monster of Thomism, An Introduction to the Life and Legacy of Reginald Garrigo Lagrange. South Bend, Indiana, St. Augustine's Press. ISBN 978-1-58731-752-1. External links A Saint in Heaven by Fr. Thomas Crean, O.P. Audiobook of His Reality, digitally read at a fast pace Complete bibliography of all his works in Italian The Last Battle of Lagrange by Fr. Albert Calio, O.P.